If my mom doesn't say, hey, son, you look thin and you should eat more, I think something is off. What I have in front of me is a stuffed paratha. You get many different stuffings in a paratha. This mm -hmm. one in particular is made of potatoes and something called methi. In English, it's called fenugreek. Uh -huh. So you might get a bit of bitterness when you try it mm -hmm. and also a bit of aroma. But it goes well with the yogurt and the chutney that you see in front of you. Mm -hmm. Fun fact about paratha or in general, something like a fat bread is there's a place very close to my house in Delhi, which serves more than 30 kinds of stuffings in it. And you can get it as low as almost $2 for two of these uh, flatbreads. So I'm gonna also uh, present my dish, which is uh, feijoada. Yeah. I'm from Brazil and I love uh, feijoada and that's why I wanted to yeah. kind of uh, present this dish. It's also a heavy dish as, as, as yours as well. Feijoada can be eaten in many versions in Brazil. I'm from Sao Paulo, so this is the Sao Paulo version. There are two versions of it. The version that I knew was uh, that it's a kind of a dish that was born with the slaves in Brazil. So okay. that originally it was composed with black beans and pork meat. So it used to have only like uh, ears or, or kind of uh, things that you normally don't eat, like the feet of the pork. But now it kind of evolved so that it's uh, the way I like is without this, but only the main parts of pork and sausages. Uh, so it's very heavy. It's served uh, with the rice and with the kale as well in uh, my um, area. Do you want to give it a try? Let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. Looking forward. It's awesome, but uh, don't forget these companions. Yes, uh, you too. I'm gonna mix everything in one go and try. Yeah, it's a good idea. Hmm. I think I can live on it <laughs> for a long time. Should I give it a try then? Do that. Mm, let's see. Mm. Mm, delicious. <laughs> it's really good. I would definitely try in India when I'm there. Definitely ask for it. As well. <laughs> I can share a bit about the food customs in India. Mm -hmm. I might have mentioned a bit earlier as well. Tea goes with everything. so. Mm -hmm. If you're eating dinner or lunch or breakfast, tea is always along with the food. And hot tea. And hot tea, mm. that's true. Interesting. Yeah. Even though it's quite hot there as well, right? Yes, that's the part of it, yeah. We actually also have this sharing as well, so that you have big servings of in the table so that people can uh, can eat and when you go to the mm -hmm. restaurant you don't ask only your food you ask food for the table so you also have like the big portions as well i think one thing that is also interesting of brazil is that in the birthday parties mm -hmm. we have a special food there normally you don't have in the parties like a, a normal meals you have some snack that are your dinner for example right and it's like a lot of different salty snacks that you have and that is all you eat in the birthdays so the first is like the salty food, snacks, and then it comes the sweets. And it's always like kind of a small uh, round balls of different flavors mm -hmm. and with the cake as well. I think that is also something that I haven't tried uh, in, in Europe here or in anywhere I, I've been. Yeah. Okay. Sounds interesting. Yeah.